Another band of heavy storms is marching across the waterlogged south. A day after high winds were blamed for toppling trees that killed one person each in Tennessee and Georgia, more blustery conditions were reported late Monday and early Tuesday across the region. In the Tampa Bay area, there were reports that two tornadoes touched down. The National Weather Service issued a tornado watch for 20 Florida counties until Tuesday afternoon. In other parts of Florida, officials were carefully watching to see if Tuesday's rains would cause more flooding. It spills over the bank. It fills up all this uh, low area out here, and then uh, then it creeps up from the roadside. In Georgia, crews were still clearing up debris and working to restore power and traffic lights in the area. The strong winds knocked a tree onto a pickup truck Monday, killing one person in Atlanta's Buckhead neighborhood. The hood of the cab was crushed all the way down to, you know, down below, the, around the steering wheel. More than 40,000 customers were still in the dark early Tuesday, mostly in the Atlanta area. And here in North Alabama, workers used chainsaws to remove debris so utility crews could begin restoring power. Alabama Power hopes to restore service by Tuesday night to the more than 60,000 customers who were still without power. Diane Kepley, The Associated Press.